So there's a lot of you telling me that the tutorial for Shopify app development using Node and React is gone. So I understand that honestly because right now Shopify is forcing developers to use Shopify CLI instead of manually installing the, the modules, the frameworks, the app bridge utilities, the app bridge and so on. So in this video, we're going to cover how to create the Shopify app using Shopify CLI. More on that after this intro. Previously, whenever we create a Shopify app, we'll have to install the modules, the frameworks manually, like the, the app bridge, app bridge utilities, Shopify app, GraphQL, Polaris, all of those frameworks, we'll have to install them one by one. But now all you need to do is just to install Shopify CLI to your system and run Shopify create command and it will ask you whether you want to use um, Node or Rails. And then if you use Node, it will create a, a Node project. And that's how you create the Shopify app now. Um, well, today we're going to learn how to use them. So. So let's go to shopify.dev and open the apps page and just click that and let's scroll down and what we need to do first is to check if we have installed Shopify CLI or we're going to install Shopify CLI if we don't have it. So look for Shopify CLI and we should have it here. Click that and then let's proceed to installation section and we can just refer to the um, install Shopify CLI page. Let's open that. And the following requirements, you need to meet the following requirements. Make sure that you have uh, Ruby installed and its version is 2.7. And then for the Shopify um, partners account, make sure that you have it as well and make sure that you have a development store. So let's just scroll down and since I'm using Mac OS, I'm going to use the gem install Shopify CLI. Or if you have Homebrew, you can just type brew tab shopify forward slash shopify cli or shopify and then brew install shopify cli so i'm going to use brew instead instead of gem install so we can just open our vs code not that one and then i'm going to create a terminal so new terminal and then i'm going to type brew and then let me just go back to our browser it should be tab shopify forward slash Shopify. So brew tap Shopify forward slash Shopify. Press enter. And there we go. We should have the following response. And next up, we need to use brew to install Shopify CLI. So type brew install and then it should be Shopify hyphen CLI. Press enter. And it should start downloading Shopify um, CLI from, I guess, repository. And then it's going to install Shopify CLI. So let's just wait for it. Is it too loud? Am I too loud? Hey. Okay, so it looks like it's finished. So the next thing that we're going to do is to check if we have installed Shopify CLI. So let's type, uh, let me just clear my CLI. And then we can just type Shopify and then version. And then since this is my first time running the Shopify CLI or the Shopify command, it will ask me whether if I want to, you know, um, enable the anonymous usage reporting. And this is going to be helpful for, um, you know, Shopify to, um, it's going to use your data basically. So if you want, you can just select yes, otherwise no. And I don't want to, um, I don't want Shopify to hold my data. So I'm going to select no, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, did I press it? No. Yeah, I picked no. There you go. Okay, so now that it's working, we can just try it again. So Shopify version, and it should give me 2.2. There you go, so its version is 2.2. And I believe it already said 2.2 there. But there we go, that's how you install Shopify CLI. So the next thing that we're going to do is to use the command or the CLI to um, create a new Shopify node project. So the first thing that we're going to do is to log into our partner's account. So we can use the Shopify login command. So Shopify login and it should ask us to log in. So it's going to open the following window. So I'm going to log in here. And there we go. So as you can see, now I am successfully logged in. So we can just go back to our terminal. I'm going to close this. I don't need that anymore. And here in our VS code, as you can see, it's now asking us to select a partner organization. So I'm going to select the number two. So it should be um, weekly how A. I'm going to select that. 
And then there we go. So as you can see, now I am logged in. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is to create a new project or a new node project. So we're going to use the command Shopify node create. Previously in, I guess, previous cell I version, you can just type Shopify create, but now you need to specify which, um, is it node or rails? So you can either use Shopify rail or is it rails? Honestly, yeah, I think it's rails and the other one is node. So we're going to use node and then you need to type create as well. So Shopify space node space create. And then if we run this command, it's going to ask us the name of the Shopify app. So I'm going to call this um, pillow. And then it's going to ask us if I want to use public or custom apps. So I'm going to select public. I want it to be public. And then it's going to ask us where I want the Shopify app to be um, created. This is the um, partner's account. So if you open your your partner's account, we have here the apps page, right? So if you're going to select Weekly How A or your partner's account, um, in, that, in that partner's account, that's where you can find your Shopify app. So this is where you can find that. Okay, so let's go back to VS Code and I'm going to select Weekly How A. I'm going to create that there. And then I'm going to select exampledevelopmentstore.com. And then it's going to start cloning the, um, the repository Shopify app node. Now this is going to take a while, so let's just wait for it to finish. I'll see you in a bit. Many minutes later. Okay, so bad news, it took a while. I had to cancel it and I believe it took 30 minutes and I was afraid to cancel it because maybe it will ruin the project and I don't want to ruin the video but I you know I decided to just cancel it and redo it again so I'm going to delete the pillow and I'm just going to delete it I'll just move it to the trash and then I'm going to redo it again so we're going to run Shopify Shopify node create and then you can just give this a name like just the same name I'll call it pillow and then I'm going to select public. So just select public. And then I'm going to select weekly how a once again. And then I'm going to select example development store. And it should start cloning the Shopify app node repository. And hopefully this time it will work. So let's just wait for it to download the uh, repository. And there we go, finally it works. So as you can see, now it created an ENV file or environment file. So if you open the PLO folder, we should have the following ENV file. Here you will have the API key, the secret, your Shopify store, and then the following scopes. And it will also um, install, I believe, Angrok so you can create, um, you know, oh, not yet. It's not yet going to install Angrok because we need to go to this, uh, to this, <laughs> Because we need to go to this project, so I'm going to change my directory, so cd, and it's going to be pillow. Can you shut up? For Christ's sake! Say hi. Hi! <laughs> okay, so now that we are in the pillow project, we can finally start running Shopify serve. Or no, it's supposed to be Shopify node and then serve. So node and then serve. Run it and it should install Engrok and it should create a new tunnel. So, okay, so we get an error. Engrok tunnel has timed out, restarting, and we're running at the following URL. And then it's going to expire in two hours. And then it's going to ask us if I want to update the URL in our Shopify app. So basically what this means is it's going to update the URL in your app setup. So if you go back to um, your Shopify app, I'm going to open the apps page. Let me just open that in the new tab. And then here we should have the pillow Shopify app. We can open that. And then if we open the app setup, here we should have the URL such as the Shopify git, github.io and so on. And then if we say yes, it's going to update that URL. So if I click yes or select yes, it's going to update that URL. So there you go. Now it's creating the following Angrok tunnel. And then if we go back to our Shopify app or app setup, and if we refresh this page, it's going to update the URL. So there we go. So you can see now we have the following app URL, and we also have here the following um, authentication um, callback. So let's go back to our VS Code, and here we should have the tunnel or the URL that we can use so we can install the Shopify app. So we can just honestly um, press Control and then 
or command and then click it. So if I click that, it should open the following um, window. And then it's going to install the Shopify app to our Shopify store. And it's going to be the development store. So you can just log in and it's going to redirect us to the authentication page. And there you go. As you can see now it opened the installation page. And here we should have the following scope. So currently it's using the um, read or write products and for order as well and for customers. So if you want to add access scopes or custom scopes, you can go back to your project and open your ENV file. You can do it here and you can also do it in a server uh, file. So here in the server folder, I'm sorry, Siri, I'm not meant to talk to you. Um, open your server folder and here we have the following server.js, open that. And then here, if you scroll down, as you can see here, we have the following scopes. You can do it here as well, but I highly recommend you do it in ENV file, which is here. So you can just add another scope, like say for example, um, read underscore products and also write underscore access, no, ac not access scope, um, script tags, so script tags and so on. So this way you can do that. So that being said, I'm not going to uh, um, I'm not going to edit the following env file. What just happened? So I'm not going to change anything there. I'm just going to close it, and then let's go back to our browser and then install the Shopify app. So I'm going to scroll down and click Install Unlisted App, and then once we click that, it's going to redirect us to the um, app URL and it's going to start the authentication. It's going to create a session. It's going to create an access token. And once we got the access token and the session token, it's going to redirect us to our Shopify app, which is embedded in an iframe of your admin Shopify store or your Shopify store admin page. So let's just wait for it. There we go. As you can see we have the following website and it redirected me back to my Shopify store admin page. And the Shopify app is embedded using the app bridge utility or the app bridge. So let's just wait for it to load. I'm just gonna maximize this honestly. So there you have it guys, that's how you install Shopify CLI and that's how you use the Shopify CLI to create a node project. Now if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe for more Shopify development tutorials. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.